In this video, we'll discuss point management in Evoke Social. I'm currently on the leaderboard page here and we can see the reputation points that each user has. Also, on the right hand side, if we click this Earn Points link, we're taken to a page called Community Activities, where users can see exactly how many points they can earn for completing or fulfilling certain activities on the site. Now I want to log in as the host user. I'm going to show how we can manage the point structure here. I'm going to hover over the admin menu option and go advanced and then access the gaming mechanics. Now the gaming mechanics page is where we'll manage all the gaming mechanics on the site and in this video we're specifically focusing on point management and we'll be looking at the scoring and privileges tab. Now here on the scoring tab we can see all the scorable actions within the evoke social site we can also filter this by module. So for example we could say show me all scorable actions for the blog module. And when we click blog the list updates and so we can see the approved blog entry is currently worth zero points. So we can update that and to update that we can go to the actions column and click this edit icon. And now we get a pop-up window and we see that the experience points and reputation points are currently zero. Well, the first question that usually comes up is what is the difference in between experience points and reputation points? So the experience points are points that a user accumulates ever since their existence on the site. These points only go up and they're only visible by admin and host users. Whereas the reputation points are visible to all users on the site, these are the points that we just looked at on the leaderboard, and reputation points are affected by a user's activities and behaviors on the site. These points are subtracted from and fluctuate based on what the user does on the site and they can even be negative. I'll also note that reputation points can never exceed experience points. So we're looking at the scoring configuration for having an approved blog entry. We can also indicate that we want to allow these users to uh, be able to earn these points a maximum times within a certain time frame. So for example, we can give users five experience points, five reputation points, and we can indicate that we'll allow them to earn these points ten times within a week. So we have the options of daily, weekly, monthly, or lifetime. So I'll select weekly and click save. Now our experience points and reputation points have been updated here for the approved blog entry. So we make it really easy to update the points that your users can earn and as we update the points here in the scoring management these points are reflected in the community activities page that we previously saw. And just below the scoring management we have ad hoc point distribution. Ad hoc point distribution gives us a way that we can come in and update a specific user's points. So I'll click in the users box and I'll start typing and we've got a user named Oliver on the site so as I started typing Oliver's name his name was auto suggested to me once I clicked his name now we can see Oliver Sullivan his experience points and reputation points and we have an actions column I'm gonna click the edit icon and so we can come into the reputation points and experience points here and update both of those we can also associate some notes with the reason we were making this update I'm just gonna click save for now and you see that the experience points and reputation points have been updated here for Oliver. So make it really easy to reward a specific user for any reason whatsoever. Now I want to click to the Privileges tab. In Evoke Social we have three modules where users can unlock privileges. You can see over here that we have privileges such as Ask Unmoderated, Closed Question, Comment Everywhere, and so on and so forth that are privileges that the users can unlock. We can filter these by module such as answers, discussions, or wiki. And if we wanted to update the points necessary in order to close a question, we simply just come to the actions column and click the edit icon. And currently 1500 reputation points are needed in order to close a question. This is a little bit high, so we can update this and say, you know, we're only going to uh, require 800 points in order to close a question. So I'm going to click Save. And now we have updated the necessary reputation points in order to close a question. So as we've just experienced, point management in Evoke Social is extremely easy. 
I hope this video has been helpful to you and I would encourage you to check out our other videos where we discuss more features and functionality of Evoke Social. And thanks again for watching.